Greetings. I'm Charles. I am a double amputee, lower leg amputee. I'm a right leg below the knee amputation, and uh, left leg is above the knee amputation. And today I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the numbers of people here in the United States that have had amputations and uh, kind of the percentages. And if you're looking at this video, you probably uh, have recently had an amputation or you may be coming up to one soon or you're a relative or a friend of somebody who's going to be in that situation. So, uh, as being in the United States, I uh, am concerned with the numbers in the United States more than anything. That's what I'm mostly familiar with, so that's what I'm going to be working with. And a lot of these uh, figures I have, I obtained from a compilation from Hanger Clinic. And Hanger Clinic is an organization that uh, builds uh, prosthetic devices and um, orthopedic devices and things of, things of that nature. And I believe this information was current up to up through 2018, so it's not too far out of date from today's date. Okay, in the United States, we've got about 330 million people, and in the last almost 20 years of having being involved in wars in Iran and Iraq and things of that, uh, you know, in that theater, we've had. Um, as far as Americans go, uh, about 1,650, and I'm sure at this point there's probably some more um, people that have been injured and have had amputations in that in those uh, conflicts. Now, uh, most Americans would probably think that a vast majority of amputations would come from something of that nature. War kind of makes sense. Uh, you know, you're prone to injury and uh, in a war. But uh, about a little over about 1,650 people have uh, been injured and led to an amputation and had an amputation uh, during those, those wars. But in the United States, we actually have about 2%, or I mean not 2%, I'm sorry, about a half a percent of our entire population is an amputee of some form. And that number is, if, if you run the math, that number is far more than the 1,650 just from, from the war stuff. So uh, the causes of these things, what would lead to an amputation in the United States then? Well, the most common things that have led to amputation, uh, well over half, has to do with uh, circulation problems, things like uh, vascular diseases and um, diabetes that leads to uh, vascular or uh, circulation problems, things of that nature. Uh, so well over half comes from those types of uh, conditions causing a situation that leads to amputations. And then we have uh, uh, about 40, 45% of the people have uh, an injury or a trauma that leads to or causes or leads to an amputation. So uh, people that are, you know, in car accidents or have an industrial accident, something, you know, at work happens and they severed a, you know, severed a limb or something like that, that would be a trauma. And uh, then there is a small percentage uh, a lot of people, unfortunately, but a relatively small percentage here in the United States, a little over 2%, that have amputations that are caused from some kind of uh, complication from some form of cancer or a congenital situation, which typically means that's something that they were born with and they need some kind of corrective surgery uh, and amputation is uh, the route they need to go. So, uh, just a few numbers just to kind of give uh, you an idea of where you or uh, your loved ones fall into the kind of the big picture number thing. I mean, obviously, individually, we're not statistics and nobody cares about us as being statistics. And, uh, but those are the numbers just so that uh, you'd be aware. And uh, you folks, good luck.
and I'd turn this off if it would go when I push the button.